Hello everyone, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to move everything from an old Mac to a new Mac using a time machine backup. I'm going to be moving everything including all files, applications, and settings from my old 2010 MacBook Pro to my new refurbished 2013 MacBook Pro. To do this, I'll be using a Time Machine Backup, which brings us to the first thing we need to do. On the old computer, let's run a backup by clicking the Time Machine icon in the menu bar and select Backup Now. When this is done, eject and disconnect the Time Machine drive and we're done with the old computer. Now boot up the new Mac like normal. In order to move all this information, we're going to use Migration Assistant. Open Finder. Go to Applications, Utilities, and double click on Migration Assistant, and Continue. Enter your administrator password and click OK. Select the first option to use a Time Machine Backup and Continue. Migration Assistant will start looking for a Time Machine Backup, so now we'll connect the backup drive. Once it shows up, Click on the drive to select it and continue. Select the latest backup and continue. Here you can select what you want to transfer to the new computer, applications, documents and data, and computer and network settings. With the documents and data, you can further refine what you want to transfer. Click on edit and then click on the triangle next to the user account. Here you can uncheck anything you don't want transferred. Click OK and continue with the transfer. Now you can select whether or not you want to keep any user accounts that are on the new Mac. I'm going to replace the user account that's on the new Mac and not keep a copy of it. And this is OK for me because the new computer does not have any information on it that I want to keep. I'm going to continue and the actual transfer of files will begin. Depending on your computer, the backup drive and how much information is on your backup drive, this could take from around a half an hour to several hours to complete. When it's done transferring files, it will let you know if it found any incompatible software. Continue and the migration is complete. Restart the Mac and now there are a few final things to do. Enter your Apple ID password and continue. Set up iCloud Keychain if you wish and continue. Here is a final setup and it will boot into the operating system. After it boots, I am going to eject the Time Machine backup so it doesn't do a backup. I will do that later after testing the migration and everything is ok. There will be a few things to wrap up which may vary depending on what programs you have. First, mail needed to go through an import of messages. Then you will need to enter your iCloud password and for some reason it asked me to do this twice. Also, I had to re-enter my Dropbox information. So that's it. I've successfully moved everything from my old Mac to my new Mac. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It's the easiest way to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and I'll see you next time.